In this video, I'm going to show you how to add text onto your videos or compositions in Adobe Premiere Pro, and also how to use some motion graphic template text title presets. So let's just start with our clip or whatever project we're working on. And I'm going to click on the T type tool. You can also use the T shortcut on your keyboard to activate your type tool. Then in the program window, you can click anywhere on that program window and it'll start to blink your text box open and create a new graphic layer and you can type out whatever you want. So I'll type whatever I want and you can see we have a graphic a layer that's created on our timeline and in the program window I can highlight this text and then on the right hand side you want to open the essential graphics panel. If you don't see that just go to window essential graphics and in this panel you can see all of your current layers so I have this text layer if I wanted to add shape layers and whatnot I can go to my toolbar click on the rectangle or other shape tools and you can also add shape layers in this same graphic layer and we sort of have our own little layer box here so I can move these back and forth hide them and whatnot similar to Photoshop but I'll delete that for now let's just stick to text and in this text layer when I have my type tool active I can highlight it and change things about it so firstly I can change the position and size so I can just change the size here I can move the position left and right and also a quick little shortcut you can just click on your move or selection tool so pressing V or this icon here and you can easily move it around and stretch it in this more intuitive way or you can use the sliders here and you also have these nice align features so if I want to align it left and top I can do that or if I wanted to center it in the frame I can do that then you also have some other things that you can adjust about the text so just making sure that I have my type tool active and it's highlighted. I can adjust this, the font of it and other things about the character, the spacing and tracking and whatnot. And I can also change the color fill and stroke. So right now it's just white fill. I can make it whatever I want. I can also disable the fill completely so that it's just outline text. I can also turn on a background or not so just like a little background shape box and I can also add a stroke so I can add a stroke I can change the size of the stroke and I can change the color of the stroke as well so you have different pretty straightforward options here if I scroll down we also have a shadow option and the mask with text button is actually for when you're working with a shape layer like I had earlier so if I did have a shape layer I can use mask with text or mask with shape and I'll show you what that does mask with text and I'll just have to make sure that the text is above the shape layer and now we can sort of knock our text out of a shape uh, I guess if you really increase the size of the shape you get this video in text effect which you could do in this method even though there's other methods to do it which I've shown in other tutorials on my channel but just another option for you but if I do turn the shape layer off let's just make sure that we do turn the mask with text off as well so we can see our text again there are other things that you can do so in the settings of the program window I've turned on rulers and guides and if you really wanted to get fancy with it you could place guides in certain areas you can right click on these rulers click add guide and you can add one a certain amount or percent in so let's say I wanted 33% uh, in from the right side and press OK this will give me that guide at two-thirds of the way in if for any reason I wanted to do stuff like that or I can just turn these off clear them or hide them and just work like we have been and let's not forget that from here we can still do everything that we can normally do with clips in the effect controls panel so if I want to add keyframes do a quick animation for example I'll click the stopwatch icon on the position and I will perhaps try moving the X axis all the way off the screen so that our text comes in from the left and then whenever I want it to animate out I will add I'll click this add keyframe button to add a keyframe at the current position 
And then before the clip ends, I'll just move the text off the screen. And this is moving the whole graphic layer. So whatever shapes or objects you had on there as well. So when I press play, we can create this simple animation. You can also add effects onto this as well. So any effects that you have available in the effects panel are applicable to graphic layers as well as any keyframes you want to do on them. And you can move and cut and edit those layers just like any other layer. So this has been a quick tutorial on how to add text and graphic layers in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed this video, check out my channel for more beginner or advanced tutorials. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.